<laughs> hello, 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 everybody. How are you doing today? I'm all right. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> so we've been a um, little bit missing in action for a few days and nothing dramatic except for Dan's, Dan's uh, eye laser surprise eye laser Surprise. surgery <laughs> unexpected uh, but other than that it's all good i know we've been like i just said been away for didn't we didn't keep our rhythm here because we're still working on catching a rhythm it's like life is changing so much that we can't we're we've been unable today to just stick to some scheduling and ideas and uh, we're more into the flow of sedona apparently <laughs> Apparently we're we're focused on being more so than doing and the we're also working on cleaning up the past um, so that we can make room for what we're building in the future and and interesting you should mention that I know because I, today <laughs> interesting. Was, we that, didn't was have that, that an accident uh, somewhat <laughs> so here as we keep reading. A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. And it's really, it's part of what's changing our world right now. And it's shifting things profoundly yeah. for us towards each other, within ourselves, and about the world. In our, so it's relationships in many ways. It's like relationship, relationship within, and relationship out there. So we hope some of you are still reading, and even if we didn't come up, that you're still uh, enthused, as enthused as we are with the book. I've got a quote here for today, and it's about the past. So it's on page 96, and Marianne writes, relationships are reborn as we let go perceptions of our brother's past. By bringing the past into the present, we, fr we create a future just like the past. And in relationships, that is when you think about it, right? Every disagreement, pretty much, I think, that we have in a relationship, it's, it always, see, it always starts with you always do this, <laughs> yeah. you never do this or I'm tired of blah, blah, blah. And it's always implying that it's the past faults that are actually present in a moment, that are there in the present that in reality doesn't contain them. Right. And it's like, you never allow your, the person you're in a relationship to renew themselves because you're holding them to their past every time you bring that kind of stuff up. But it's, and I, and I think it's a, it's deeper than that, where, like she says, um, bringing the past, by focusing on the past, when you're in the moment, when you're, when you're present in the moment and you're thinking, well, they always do this, she always does that, she, here we go again, she's hmm. gonna do it just like she did before. When you're doing that, when you focus on that, energy, if you will, that emotion, in the moment, you're actually creating the something similar to that to happen in the future. Because the future is always a projection of what you're thinking about in the moment. Mm. So if you're in the moment thinking about the past, you're actually creating the future. That you don't want. A future that you don't want, exactly. Yeah. So it's the the focus, it's, and it's a really, it's a, it's a hard thing to train yourself to do when you find yourself focusing, you know, kind of unconsciously thinking, ah, oh, geez, here we go again. She's mm -hmm. did that. But, but then you think if you can shift your mind and think, well, but she isn't actually doing that right now. Or if she, if she, if he, no. <laughs> <laughs> if she is doing it right now, what if it were the first time? Like there, there's a, I don't know if any of you is familiar, are familiar with David Deida. He's kind of the guru of relationships. And when I bought his book, uh, I was surprised to see there's actually an introduction by Marianne Williamson, who calls him the guru of relationships. He's just completely I amazing. You, you, I think you, you mentioned in the previous, in the, last, in the last video, yeah. And there's yeah. something that he says in there that I remember in one of his book, where he says, imagine in a relationship, if you could be fresh 
in every moment. Meaning that if every moment did not bring anything from the past. The baggage. No baggage, no weight, no expectation that mm -hmm. what the other person is about to do is... Because when you expect the other person to do what they did before, you're kind of locking them in there. I think that's kind of why too, right? In We always say that families are the hardest place to heal wounds because your family knows you from so long that they are set in the determination of who you are. Right. And the you don't have right. Yeah. So they always expect you to be, oh Annie is like this, oh so and so is like this. And that's kind of what we bring to a relationship, whether they're twenty five years old or a year old or six years old, is that if you expect the other to do what they did before, you're just you're you're not letting the other person off the hook. And that is detrimental. And you're also not um Assuming, I mean, I like to think that all of us are always working on our relationships, you know, and, and how we approach our relationships. And if if I'm sitting here projecting how I think she's going to react to something, it's like, oh, geez, I can't bring that up because she's going to do this or she's going to do that. I'm not giving her the opportunity to react in a, in a, in a more positive way toward a situation. You know, you have to yeah. give someone that opportunity. So to, I don't know, to, to demonstrate their growth. I mean, it, and it goes both ways. Yeah. And I was, I had in my little notes here of being fresh in the moment. And, you know, it's obviously when, in, when you're in the thick of an argument, it's really hard because the egos are engaged. And once the egos are engaged, that's all they think about, right? It's the past, the past, the false, the blame, the guilt, the, you know, right. that's, and, that's what they do. Right, and it's, the ego always wants to be right. Exactly. That's the most important thing. But there's an amazing thing that has happened to me a few times, and probably you too, but I know if I can speak for myself, is that in, with you and before you also, and it's happened like once a year or something, it's not very, very often, but to be in the deep, deep disturbing argument where I'm angry and I'm hurt and all this and all of a sudden I ask life the universe the greater wisdom God and I ask for grace because it's like I do not want I'm tired of this I don't like the anger in me and it happened a few times to me that in a an instant all the anger dissolved and I made the choice to say I'm letting go of it all. It doesn't matter if the other person is 100% wrong, if I'm 100% wrong, whatever it is, just letting go. And I just want to be a, a witness a, a, to testify that it can actually happen. There is a way, sometimes, maybe mm -hmm. more with practice, to decide and that's actually the, the, the thing for another video that I have in store. But there is a way that we can choose to let go of the past and say, I'm just here. I'm tired of it. Right or wrong. This is not how I want to live right now. Right. And I think that that's something, I don't know if that's what you're thinking about for the next video, but um, I think that we need to, in a relationship, we need to recognize the other person's um, strategy for de-escalating. You know, oh, we'll everybody will get okay. to a point, yeah. For, yeah, for, we'll get into it. Right, you have to have a strategy for de-escalating things before it gets, you know, once it gets to a certain point, you realize, whoa, this is, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want this to get any worse. And then you say things you regret. And mm. so We'll talk about de-escalation on another, yeah, in yeah. another video. So today so, it's about like to give thought. It's something we've been doing a lot because we've been reading it in... Marianne's wonderful book. And it's to be aware of how much we bring the past into the present. Right. And to just start with the awareness and then start trying to do it a little less, maybe when it's not as major a situation, not too hurtful, not too deep, but practice noticing and practice trying to say, what if I didn't bring the past into this right. moment? Right. And it can only benefit any relationship. Excellent. Okay. Okay. We will see you as soon as we see you. Okay. Love you, folks. <laughs> bye bye. See ya.